What's up, YouTube? Just getting out of the apartment here in uh, Vilnius, Lithuania. We're going to get ready to go to Turkai and see this beautiful castle. I can't wait to see it. It's magical. Welcome to the Europe Series 2023. I'm Eric B. from Travel Adventures with Eric B. If you're new here, I offer travel advice. I'm a solo traveler and I do vlogs to help you travel better and more efficiently. So from Vilnius, this is a pretty good ride out here to Trakai. There's the castle. We're going to go up closer to it and see it. But yeah, this is a big tourist area. That castle is a very popular attraction. But this whole area, there's a lot of things to do out here, out on the water and all. So pretty cool. Probably says about a 45 minute ride. Welcome to the town of Trakai. Trakai Island is more than just a castle, but the center point of the island and of the town is indeed Trakai Island Castle. Located on Lake Galf, this stone castle was originally constructed in the 14th century and mostly built in 1409, but was retouched or rebuilt, if you want to say, in the 1950s and 1960s to the current standard that it is right now. Located about 17 miles away from the capital city of Vilnius, about a 30 to 45 minute bus ride. If you take the bus here, you're looking at two euros. There, two euros one way and two euros one way back, which is a really cheap ride. Say about 30 to 45 minutes on the bus, or you can catch Uber for 25 minutes. And Uber can take you directly here. As opposed to the bus, you're going to have to do a good bit of walking to get around here. And it's euros from May to September, the busy times of the year, equivalent to $14.20, and eight euros at other points during the year. So it is cheaper to go during the non busy months, of course. There's a lot of expeditions and things in here. Uh, this is a museum is what it is right now, a history of Lithuania museum. So the disappointing thing about it is there's not a lot of explaining on the many different exhibits here, but these exhibits are so beautiful that you'll enjoy it whether you know what they are or you don't. But I admit I would like to know a little more of the significance of any of these artif artifacts, but it's cool looking. <laughs>
bars on the window would be a perfect view. And we'll go back down the steep stairs. Oh, someone's coming. Oh, wow. It's usually always easier going down than coming up. Those are steep. I'm glad I paid the 12 euros. I debated and I was really close to not doing it, but I'm glad I did. It's a very interesting room right here. Now, I'm not a hunter, so I am not one for putting animal heads on the wall. But, yeah, it's kind of cool, though. I really like it, though. valuable thing to see the WC the WC always good to see confirm it is free but anyone that made it to this point paid 12 euros so it should be Pretty cool, there's an elevator here for people with mobility issues or people with bad knees like me. <laughs> <laughs> for vlogs. Do it for the vlog! Can't go through there. The view right here is pretty doggone priceless. You gotta love this view. The elevator trip, my left knee was like, thanks buddy. And then after climbing up those stairs, my left knee was like, flip you buddy. <laughs>
definitely worth the 12 euros. I highly recommend it. At first, I was like, I if I wanted to do it for 12 euros, it was highly worth it. Highly worth it. All right, it's time to leave and get out on the island a little bit. Show you some of the area right around the castle. A lot of tourists like to come out here and hang out and have a really good time. And you can go out on the water and do a lot of water sports out here for sure. Really relaxing area. You can rent out a paddle boat. You can rent out a regular boat. You can do boat tours. You can do all kinds of stuff. Crowded. Jet skis. Anything you want to do really out on the water. Beautiful area. Great area to have a picnic. A lot of restaurants and bars as well. But as I peruse around, I decided to stop and get me a cold one. As you know, I always like to try the local beers. Didn't get any food, though. Didn't feel like waiting the allotted amount of time. So we'll just get back to Vilnius and get food. Really enjoyable space to come out with your friends and hang out. The castle was amazing, but it's so much more than just the castle. Come here, like, watching them park in here and, like, making spots and making room for people funny watching that so i feel like i had a little more time before i planned on getting back to the city i would definitely do one of these boat tours because this view is quite amazing and it's really inexpensive to do one of these boat tours to get out on the water but you know i like to save things for next time as always it's a nice saturday evening i'm, I'm sure there's a lot of tourists from all over the place here probably mostly this area but you know i'm sure there's some americans here there's some tourists from all over the place because those americans we find our way everywhere you know and lithuania is a good place to go because it's very affordable so wouldn't say dirt cheap but very affordable definitely cheaper than most of the places i've gone to on this uh 2023 europe series or in europe in general and i keep saying it not to put you asleep but this is just such a relaxing area like i would just love to just picnic here like all the time it's just the perfect spot to relax the area here is awesome really awesome and that's all folks i hope you enjoyed this video if you did i ask that you please hit the like please hit the subscribe button Please hit the bell notification so you can know when I have more videos coming out. And I hope that you're enjoying this 2023 Europe series. And as always, remember, live today, grow today, tomorrow's never guaranteed. Peace and travel. Lots and lots of travel. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please hit the like, share, subscribe button, leave any comments below. I love to interact and help us to continue to grow as a travel community.